Hello Jana and Deborah and all the subscribers. This is Tanya and Sarah over in the UK. We're in South Wales at the moment. This is our 2018 Fiat Ducato camper van. Nearest I think equivalent is probably something like a um, Ram Pro Master in the States. It's a German Heimer build, uh, Sunlight, which is the cheaper end of the Heimer company. So then Tam, what do you like about our van? The most appealing thing about the van for me was when we look around it, I really did like the fixed bed idea with the storage underneath so that my mobility scooter could fit in and I could rest adequately. Um, I also like the seat where the dogs can be safe. Uh, I like the little lounge area where you can turn around the seats and, and have a little communal area if anyone visits. I just like the whole compactness of it. We can have a shower and a toilet in a very relatively small unit um, and it just suits us. The, the size of it, we can still use it around town. We can park it in normal parking spaces and still be able to explore cities and towns. Now, I'm sure that Jada and Deborah's viewers are going to want to know as Bob would say, where do we go to the bathroom? We have what's called a shoilet. <laughs> Let me show you the shoilet. <laughs> so in here we've got shower facility here, pulls out and we've popped a clip on there, just clip us up. Oh, hello everybody, there I am in the mirror. And shower tray in the bottom toilet this is a cassette toilet you tend to find that most uk european vans tend to have cassette systems this is the fixed bed in the back a couple of things that i've done differently we have a ladder here this helps tan get in and out she's five foot two so she was struggling somewhat to get in and out and she has cirrhotic arthritis so that means that we just have to make one or two adaptations just to make things a little bit more comfy for her on, on the road. Um, as Tan says, two seats here where the dogs sit. We've got a little ottoman that was picked up from a shop called Dunelm. Um, just a folding job. We put towels, dog towels and bits and bobs in there. Our two captain seats, we've covered these seats over uh, just so the dogs can't make a mess of them um, and your usual cab in the front um, round at the back this here is the wagon this wagon is the buggy that we use predominantly for Bert because he's an old man he's 12 years old and he's a bit arthritic um, although well, unfortunately at the moment the little whippersnapper who's rolling about down there she's gone a bit lame and she's got uh, a problem with her patella at the moment so she's been making use of that a little bit as well so here we go here's the junk cupboard not quite but you can see here tan's folding mobility scooter goes in the bottom there this is a bag that our folding solar panels go in we've got 200 watt panels um it's a company called mango power which uh, actually i don't think you'd find it in the uk but i think they are actually a us company we've got them because tanya's brother um is a youtuber uh, and he's kindly gifted us those uh, so i don't think that's something uh, anybody watching from the uk will be able to get but i think for you in the us you might be able to find those um hints on the sticker lpg cupboard so this is where your gas bottles are stored in here we do run lpg for uh, our gas cooking stove we've got um, an LPG boiler that does hot water and blown air heating um, we do actually use our power station which is what we're charging on the on the panels here um, to run a uh, induction hob uh, rather than using the gas all the time um, and also we use uh, sometimes an air fryer as well with those and things like your hair straighteners and stuff like that. So yeah, gas hob here, sink here. Now I've got to show you this because we caused some confusion the other day. 
on uh, to Jana and to Deborah. So in here, this is where we wash up. Oh, and it's mucky. We've got, <laughs> I've got tea. Very important. There's tea there. Let's just rinse that out. Hang on a minute. <laughs> tea cupboard. Tea cupboard up here. Sink for washing up. Now we do have a washing up bowl. Just to clarify, washing up in the UK is dishes. That's dishes, not washing us. Okay. So we have got a folding bowl that is people washing bowl but not to be confused with our other folding bowl which is for washing dishes washing up bowl um so a little bit different now other very important bit this is the tea cupboard so for our american friends this is very important and dear to our heart black tea only cup of tea if you order a cup of tea in the uk you only get black tea that is sometimes called breakfast tea the whistling billy the kettle is here that's our gas kettle we have got electric kettle as well just goes out on the stove and obviously whistles when it boils really important if you want a good british cup of tea you must must boil the water that's so important boil that kettle boil that kettle and then you'll get a good cup of tea definitely well i hope you've enjoyed having a little look about any muck any tea that you've seen that's all for free <laughs> we give that really oh and one other thing for deborah here's the fans one two three four and in here, hiding amongst the travel suites, is the neck fan. Just the five. Just for Jana. Just for Jana. My hair, my hair. <laughs> bye, ladies, and bye, everyone. Bye. Take care. Bye-bye.